myself a Wi-Fi extender package, essentially. It's a Wi-Fi solution by Google. So I can give it a go because here I am at work and we've got a ring doorbell right out in the corridor. It's not wired in, can't be, because it's separated by a corridor and it's on the outside door. Um, and unfortunately, the signal's a bit iffy because we all know the ring doorbells, the Wi-Fi is not that strong. Um, and it just about connects to the router, which is about another 10 meters that way. But sometimes you try and log into it, it says someone's at the door, they've rung it, you open it, it goes da -da 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 -da, and then it goes, I can't connect. So I'm gonna try and solve that with this. So I thought I might as well get this set and see if it makes any difference overall. So let's open it up and have a little look, shall we? Ooh. Soft. New smell? Mmm, it does have a new smell. Okay. Very plasticky. Uh, two network ports there. Two network ports there. They're identical units, aren't they? Absolutely identical. You can't see any difference between them at all. No, they are the same. Yep, they're exactly the same. Can't get that out. Special, special design. Let's get started, it says. Oh, USB C. Use that from a MacBook. Output. Mm, 5 volt, 3 amp. Maybe not. Maybe very, very slow charge. And obviously put a network cable in there. We're gonna have a look at that in a second. I'm assuming in here is a duplicate. Two USB-C. There was, oh, and a network cable for plug it into your router. Hmm, not the longest cables. But you never know. I'm about to get to work for what we need. Okay, right there. And then I'm gonna set off one of these, obviously gotta plug straight into your router. And then this one will go over by the corner of the door and we'll plug it in as close as we can to the ring doorbell and that should solve all the problems. Quite an expensive outlay just to make a ring doorbell work, but the Wi-Fi is weak here on devices anyway. Probably we can set up a guest network for customers that come in, things like that. So we'll try and use it for multiple things to make it worth its money. But let's give it a go anyway. Right, so we got our router here. It says plug in your first Wi-Fi point, then connect it to your modem with the Ethernet cable. Okay. Download the Google Wi-Fi app on a compatible device to set up Wi-Fi and any additional points. Right. That's the app. Would it like to? Yes, you can do. Hopefully not to sign in. You might have to. We'll have a look in a second. All right, there's the old. Oh. Let's unplug this fairly long and substantial cable. World Wide Web. This is going to web, allegedly. It seems to suggest, judging by the picture on it, green world, green world. Um, and let's go to put that in there. Let's boot this up. Any sort of sign of anything happening? Yeah, it is. Blue light. All right, let me have a run through this app then. So I guess let's sign in. Real life gadget reviews. Let's get Google Wi-Fi set up. Okay, I'm up for that. Get started, looking for your device. Oh, Wi-Fi point found, good. Took longer than expected, connecting to Wi-Fi point. Scan, okay, scan code, okay. It's got it. Getting code. Got code. Connecting to Wi Fi point. Let's just make sure this is working correctly. And then we can plug in the other one and see whether or not. Um, hmm? Why are you doing that again? 
uh, see if it just connects to that one as well once we power it up. Do, 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 do. Wi Fi point found. Yay! Oh, it's getting an update. Alrighty. Well, I'll probably come back to you once it's done the update. Let's see how long it takes. It's 12.24 at the moment. Uh, we're at 12.29, and it's now saying connected to Wi Fi point. Um, but still not done yet. Okay, just do the update. But still not connected back up again. I don't think the light's changed. No, it's just blue. It's flashing blue. So. Leave it a bit longer, see what happens. Uh, where is your access point in the attic? Brilliant. Uh, let's say study. Uh, let's not say study. Let's say office, that's probably better. Next. Uh, wi Fi network name. Oh. Awesome. No. Uh, awesome. There we go. What should we have for the Wi-Fi password? Uh, one, two, three, four. Mm. Seems safe, doesn't it? Oh, eight. Sorry, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Are you sure you want to turn off letting Google know everything about everything you do? Yes, please. Saving your Wi-Fi settings. It's quite a setup time. This is twelve thirty-two now. It's quite a long old time, isn't it? Making sure everything is in order. Good. I wish you'd hurry up about it. Because then we need to have this other device, I'm presuming we'll do an update on that as well. That's lunchtime. Food's more important than this. Oh, hey! Connect to awesome. Hey, hey, like it. Uh, go to Wi-Fi settings, tap Wi-Fi under setting on your iOS device, connect to your network, find select new Wi-Fi network, enter your password. Okay, finished. <clears throat> yeah. Got more Wi-Fi points. How many more? One more. Next. Ta-da! <laughs> USB-C, in there like that, let's put that there. Gonna set it up here, just for the sake of it. Power that up. Additional points work best if they're no more than two rooms away. Mm. You'd think, what well, if the rooms were massive? What if the rooms were a mile big? Also, you try putting them in an open space, yep. Inside my skull. Once you find a good spot, plug it in, provided a power adapter done that, yeah. Where is the Wi-Fi point? Can we add a label? Scroll to the bottom, you can't add label. It's greyed out. I want to put in there a showroom. It's not happening. So should I call it the shed? Oh, there we go. Add label. So you have to select the shed and then you can add label. Show room. Boom. Boom. Uh, showroom. There we go. Create. Create. Shed. Showroom. Brilliant. Genius. Next. Activating mesh network. Looking for your device. I don't need to read this out, you can see it as long as you can read. That's quicker. It found that point quicker than last time, didn't it? This is this is this is going significantly faster. Oh, scan the QR code, scan code, here we go again. Scanning code. Code scan. Ends a nine character setup code which is printed on the bottom of your device. Is it? Setup code. Yes, setup code. Next. Connecting to shed. I mean, showroom. Shed showroom. Boom. Uh, no thanks, don't want to opt in. Just a few minutes, we'll tie up the loose ends. You're finished. We're optimizing your mesh network. We'll let you know when everything is done. Now it does say done there, so... Shall I press done? There we are. Just a few more minutes. Almost finished, just need to finish setting up one more Wi-Fi point. Okay, is there any indication on there that it's doing that? Yeah, it's flashing again, isn't it? And I presume... Is that solid? Oh, it's solid white when it's all good. There you go. Setting up, initializing, etc. Done is white. I've got a feeling it doesn't do anything. Good though if it did. You could check the network speed, couldn't you? Perhaps it's because it's still setting up. Right, let's go have some lunch and then we'll come back to it and then hopefully it's all set up by then. And then that'll be, just press it and it'll can check the speed of the network and stuff. See, see what we've got going on. Right, well I had a notification on my Apple Watch 
which is pretty sweet. So we were out to lunch, walking along in the sunshine, and I had a message through onto my Apple Watch saying that it's all set up and ready to go. So that's pretty neat. This here, where we were before, if I click on internet, um, where are we here? That still doesn't do anything, the shortcut doesn't do anything, but if I go here, everything looks good. And your two Wi-Fi points are online. I click network check here. Download of 57, upload of 25. Quite interesting, because 57 is a heck of a lot more than we get just direct from the router. So that's an interesting one. Hmm. Let's have a little look at speed test. A speed test. Go, let's have another look. So this is direct from the router. So how can it be faster than direct from the router? It can't, can it? It's impossible. No, oh, upload. There we go. Well, upload's good. Was good. Is good. Bear in mind, we are on a, um, we're on a sim route here. This isn't direct. This is not fiber optic or anything. Well, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to now logged in now to the Google access point. Let me just see what readout that gives. Oh, wow. Wowee. Wowee. That is incredible. Download is massively, massively increased. Huh. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? So, if you want fast, much faster download, if you've seen the difference, that is absolutely mega. You can see the time, there's no difference. We've done it straight after each other, test back to back test. This has opened up a huge amount. That upload, not so much. Upload's pretty much the same, but download is hugely different. Wow. Interesting thing to note with this is when you first boot it up, you get a big blue light ring, and then when it's trying to connect, it's flashing blue, but a much smaller light. And then once it connects, it's a small white light showing you that it's all good. But if you lose internet, it goes red. All right, so just need to remove the ring doorbell because of course it's on the old network, so. Oh. So one of the problems I have with the app, it's really bad quality. As you can see, it's jumping there and it's pixelated because it's the ring doorbell notoriously is not very good if it's any distance at all from the router. Now you can hardwire it in. We haven't got that option because we've got a, a main reception area between us and the showroom and a thick solid wall with nowhere to run the cables. Proper warehouse wall, so it's massively thick. Um, also, it films black spots so it picks up motion but because the signal's so bad it doesn't save it to the cloud the video it just saves the time it was filming for like 21 seconds or whatever um, so we're hoping that what it'll do is it expand the network out and make it a much better signal right i'm just going to put this down on the floor for now and then we're going to go back in and test to see what the wi-fi was that's it running through the ring so you can see the issue that you can have substantially lower than what we've tested so far so we need to do this test again once we've connected to the Google Mesh. You'd think that would be okay though for uploading, wouldn't you? But it isn't, because you've constantly got an issue. You can see that all these are essentially pretty rubbish. Whereas all some is green. Now obviously we're in the same room as it at the moment, but it'll only be one room away. It is connecting to awesome. Okay, I think we can successfully say that's that's gone up considerably. Upload, if it's the same as before, it shouldn't make much difference. Which is a bit strange, but Download significantly. Done. Download massively better. Right, let's go and fit it back on the wall. Guest network, guest Wi Fi. Your guest Wi Fi will need a name and a password. No need to write this down though. You can share it with guests from the app at any time. Awesome guest and guest password. Uh, good. Internet. 
8. Right, there we go, let's create that. Building guest Wi-Fi. So if people come in the showroom and they want to get onto it, they can go to Awesome Guest and log in. So the reason for buying it really was for the ring doorbell and the fact that it promised great things and it seems to have delivered on those. And you can turn off guest Wi-Fi and turn it on. Family Wi-Fi, it's restricted down for kids and stuff, for their viewing. Excellent, priority device. These shortcuts up here, no, no, that works. So that one works, more actions. I don't know, don't know why it doesn't work. But anyway, it sped up the internet, which is what we wanted for the ring, and we've produced it with two access points. We've got one closer to the ring anyway. Um, but the actual speed, regardless of the distance from it, the actual speed has increased markedly, the download speed. So pretty sweet. Thumbs up from me, works well.